Okay, so with our new stack system, we have to also go through and try to do a little bit more work to prevent cheating. So if we go to our use item, we're currently checking to see if we have the item, and if we do, we use it. However, there's more to it than that now. So if the item matches, we also want to check and make sure the stack size is greater than zero, because if it's less than or equal to zero, that means we don't have any of that actual item. However, if we cheated our stack size and our client, we could still technically use, well, use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to cheat it here. So I need to figure out, I need to actually host a server and then figure it out from there. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the launch two clients real quick and I'll see you in a second. All right, that took me a lot longer to get set up because I tried doing this externally with uh, multiple clients, but anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and pick up all eight of the med kits. Got to reattach. Let me close that down. Couldn't figure out how to get a uh, attachment specifically to the client window. So let me just scan, find the one that is for our inventory here. And it's going to be one of these. So let's change these slowly to eight. 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 And so it's this one. I should be able to change this one to like 20, and it changes. So I'm currently at 20 for our uh, inventory there, and I can spam it as many times as I want. So instead of giving myself 8 or whatever, I have now have 200. So I can bump this back up to 50, and it's still going to change on the client. I pick up new item, still kind of the same deal. But the server, I don't know 100% if this works if this is tinkering with the service value or not. So I could be wrong here because of how this is set up. But I'm essentially adding on several, uh, what do you call it? I'm adding a bunch of items to my inventory that don't really exist. So that's why we do the check on the server. So here's server underscore use item. We, you know, if the valid, if the item equals it, we want to do a check. So if item dot, again, I don't know why it does that that count, meaning it's greater than zero. Then we go through and we use the item and then we can return. So again, I don't know if because I'm, I'm trying to play as a client through a dedicated server, I don't know if that's, actually I might be able to do this through a listen and just select the client window. Let's see if that works. Because that might give us actually a proper result. Well, let's try to uh, bring up Cheat Engine, attach it. Here's the client. Go ahead and just pick them all up. So we should have eight, scan for eight, seven. Six. Just try to keep adding these back to eight. And this one seems like it's ours. All right, so let's add 20. So we are currently at 20 health. So each one is 10. So let's spam this all the way down. And we're at 200. So yeah, it's not quite working. But in theory, assuming this wasn't having the net, yeah, because if I recall it, I think they're sharing something network related. So unless I could launch this as two processes, which for whatever reason, I could not get them to connect to each other, which makes no sense because I had, haven't had that problem in any other, uh, in like 4.26, for example, and before, but that would stop it even though that reference didn't tell you, this would stop it from constantly using items on the client that didn't exist. So this is another method of cheat prevention, which will stop you. So if you don't have the item in your inventory, which is what this checks for, and if you do have that item in your inventory, but you have no none of them, like your stat count is zero, 
Well, then you flat out don't have any. Like, that's it. So that's really going to be all for this video. I just want to take another layer of cheat protection and go ahead and, well, because we kind of have to. So that's going to be all. And if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.